What's going on guys, Sledgehammer70 here, and today I'm going to do a video that a lot of you have been asking about for a long time, and it's how to paint your brake calipers a different color with the G2 kit. So let's get to it. So items you need for this, I'm using some painter's tape. I have two different sizes, a thick size and a slightly more medium size. Um, I bought a brush, it's a brush kit, basically five, six bucks. Um, these brushes you can get at Home Depot or any craft store. You can buy nicer brushes and guarantee that the bristles aren't gonna fall out. Uh, but I would recommend use anything other than the brush that is provided in the G2 kit. Now. The G2 kit comes with all sorts of goodies um, inside the box. Just go ahead and open it. Inside the box, you get a generic. Sorry, didn't open this box at a time. <laughs> you get a non chlorinated brake cleaner. Um, I'd recommend using this heavily on your brakes, getting all the scum and everything off. <clears throat> you also get a little book it and here's the instructions the paintbrush that they ship it with and stuff and then you get the actual sorry so you get the actual paint which they mark what color it is and the activator which you will mix this into here and let it sit for five minutes once you mix it up very well and then you're ready to go with that so. the other thing that I like to do during this time while you have all four corners of your wheels off um, is I get my own this is not my normal wash bucket when I wash my car this is just a miscellaneous bucket I use to wash miscellaneous items around the house but I'm using this filled with nice soapy water um, basically a car washing soap that cuts through grease and I have some old shop towels in here that I'll use to wipe down the brakes ahead of time. And I'll also wipe down all components underneath. So including the uh, magnetic ride, the springs, and just all the fasteners and everything. Cause I like keeping it nice and clean under there every now and then. Um, so there you go, that's what you need. And well, that's most of the stuff you need. Some of the other stuff you don't have to clean out if you don't want to, um, but we're good to go. So there is a sticker on the caliper on the back side. You'll run into these on all of them. Sometimes they'll fall off if you have already driven through weather and whatnot, but you'll want to peel those off because painting over them and then if they peel off down the road is not going to look pretty. So the one thing that you'll want to do with this is not actually spray it on any of the rubber parts. So there are a couple here. It's like rubbery plastic, any of the back parts, there's some plastic parts. Basically what I'm gonna do with the spray is I'm gonna spray all the, the caliper aspects across the board. And hopefully you guys can see this. That's about it that I do on that side. Let's go uh, check out the back and get that one going. We're gonna mix the paint and the reactor together. So literally, it's just pouring this into the paint. Gonna get it all in there. What I'm gonna do is <clears throat> now lids back on, shake it up. Thank you. 
So now you gotta let it sit for a little bit. And technically you don't have to shake it, because then the give you a cool little sticker for your G2 USA. Performance styling. Yep, let it sit for five minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. And then you use this to stir it up once it's done sitting. And this is the brush that it comes with. And if you saw, like, there's already bristles falling out of it. Um, I wish G2 would include a better brush, but I bought nicer brushes, so I'm not so worried about it. But uh, yeah, so we'll let that react and we'll be back. Now it is time to tape it off. Now, one of the reasons why I love painter's tape is because it doesn't leave residue. So I have no problem in putting this on the rotors. The other ways you could do it is tape it off and put plastic all around. And I've seen people mix this in airbrush and do all that kind of stuff. But usually what I'll do is put one big piece across the main part of the rotor. And this is primarily so I don't get paint on the rotor. The other way to do this is take your calipers off, which is a little more involved. Could be easier in the long run for you if you want to go that route. But I find it unnecessary, especially if you have a slightly steady hand. You don't have to worry about getting paint and stuff. The other side is taping off the back portion. Of course. So I actually paint alongside of these, the back of the brake clips, but uh, the brake pad. But I like to tape off the center. Just fold it under so it doesn't. There you go, you got a big present. So that is the front brake all taped off. So you can see I got the rotors. Uh, I don't worry about in here because I just use a really steady hand when I paint around uh, the brake pad on the interior uh, right here. Let me get the light back so you can see a little better. And of course I'm blowing things out. So in here you can see where the brake pad's actually hitting the rotor. Um, I don't actually paint in there so I don't tape that off, but you can if you really want to. I do have the tape wrapping around the bottom of the rotor. <clears throat> tape around the bleeding valve and there's not one on the bottom so you can get away with that and then the back side of there so that is how I tape off the front rotors now let's go do the back and honestly I don't tape the back side of this brick um, primarily because I like to paint all up in here and down around here and I'm not so worried about these metal brackets. I mean, if you wanted to, you can put tape around it, but you're not going to see here uh, from any angle with your tire off. So um, I just leave that just like that. So there you have it. They're all taped up. Let's uh, start painting. So now that everything's taped up, and we've now mixed up the activator and let it sit for five minutes and give it a final stir. Nice bright red. It's like fire engine red. So what I do is I normally just paint straight out of the can. So I always use a box to make it so I don't 
get paint all over the floor. So you, so get a nice healthy amount of paint on the paintbrush and start your painting application. The first coat is gonna be see-through. You're gonna see right through it, but this is our base coat. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't want drips. All right, and then guys, coat number two. This is gonna be the coat where it actually hides everything for the most part.
Okay, it's getting a little cold where I'm at at night, and so the paint isn't setting up as quick. So I'm probably only gonna be able to do three coats. And at that, instead of the 15 minutes in between, um, in this instance, I actually used a little bit of a heat gun to help cure the paint a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna try the third coat and just gotta be really careful that I don't create a whole bunch of uh, drippy, drooly paint. So here we go. So I have finished painting the calipers and I'm going to end this video here because that's basically the full install. The next step is really letting it cure. You should let your car sit for 24 hours before you drive it. And after it's completely cured and dried, that's when you put the decals on. I'm going to do a separate video on the decals, show you how I put them on. But for this video, we are done. So we have installed the G2 um, caliper paint painted on with the brush. We did three full coats, pretty heavy coats on the calipers, made sure there wasn't any dripping. It did get a little cold. Again, I would recommend doing this starting in the morning as it gets hotter in the daytime. So therefore it sets up and cures a little bit better. Um, I would have liked to put four coats, but unfortunately the paint will dry and just not be right by the morning to do another coat. So, but I think it turned out pretty good. Again, I'm gonna let it sit overnight Sorry, I'm going to let it sit overnight and uh, hopefully cure and then I'll take off the tape and we'll be good to go. So check it out. Nice thick coats. Looks pretty good. So that's the G2 kit. A link is down below if you guys are interested in this product. I am not advertising for them, I'm just trying to be helpful for you guys. So if you stuck around and watched the video for this long, appreciate it guys. As always, I love it when you guys like, share, even dislike, or subscribe. So until next time guys, I will see you on the road.